Hey guys, I'm Chef D Max. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today, a pumpkin salad for holiday time. You're gonna love it. It's got a beautiful kabocha uh, pumpkin, and we're gonna have some pomegranate with it too. What's better than those two things during the holiday season? Um, if you're not subscribing, do that right now. Click right here. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and ring that bell, and I'll send you new things I have coming up. So I'll see you back in a second. Okay guys, uh, this is a kabocha pumpkin. We're gonna make this beautiful pumpkin salad. So I like to use a real flavorful pumpkin. So I've really uh, cleaned the, the outside of the pumpkin just when I'm working with it. And now I'm just gonna simply take like uh, the seeds out. So you guys can see that, super simple, right? You guys have done this before with carving pumpkins, right? You just wanna kind of press your knife through here and scrape out the seeds. Um, and what we're looking to do is just, you could do something with these seeds if you wanted to. You could roast them. Um, you, could, you know, you could roast them until that's my oven preheating over there. So it's ready to go. Um, and we're going to, uh, I preheated it at 350 because what we're going to do is roast these onions and roast this pumpkin um, in the salad. So we want those to be kind of like nice cook, a cooked element to our, our kind of salad. So here you can see I've scooped that out nicely, right? And then I'm just going to lay it down and I'm just going to cut it um, like this, just trimming the outside off of it. Now, if you want to keep the outside on it for kind of texture or like a, a look, you could do that and then just tell people don't, don't eat that um, because it's going to be tougher. Um, or you can just cut it, cut them right up like this. And then the pumpkin as well, like um, when you're, Serving it, you can either cut slices or you can put diced pumpkin, depending on how you like your salad. Um, you know, for I think for the holidays, a lot of times we're pretty formal. We got a, everybody's got a fork and knife with them, so I like to leave it in big, uh, big slices, and that makes it really more of a uh, more of kind of the centerpiece of the salad, the pumpkin itself. Whereas if you dice it up, it's kind of just kind of in there, right? So it's really up to you how you want to do it. But basically what I'm doing is I'm just using this flat side of the pumpkin to keep it flat on the cutting board and just trimming it around on all sides like this. See that? So I'm taking off all this kind of waxy outer part of the pumpkin, okay? And then I'm gonna cut this piece out right here, like that. And then I get rid of all this pumpkin scrap over there. All right? Now, with the pumpkin, I want to, I'm going to look at it and see what I want to do. I like to have these slices. So I'm going to do these big slices like this. You guys see that? I've got a nice Pyrex to bake in here. You guys can use whatever you want to bake. Um, and then um, we're going to slice this all the way down. That's it. So big shapes like this, okay? So we have nice big pieces of pumpkin um, for our salad. And then people can cut them with a knife and fork when they're eating the salad. Um, be careful when you're cutting pumpkin because it kind of moves a lot of different ways. So you don't want to accidentally cut yourself. Now I've got some onions here. I've just peeled them and cut them in half. And I lay them down. And what I'm going to do is, it's uh, two small onions. I'm going to cut those thin like this. I'm just going to stick them in here with my pumpkin. See that? Just thin slices. Okay, and then we're going to take these, we're going to put a little olive oil, salt, and pepper on there, and then we're going to roast these in the oven at 350 until the onions get a little crispy. Uh, they're going to get kind of cooked and crispy. And the pumpkin's going to be uh, more, you know, it's not going to get uh, crispy because it's got more moisture than the onions do. Onions going to lose their moisture quick, right? But I want to put a good amount, probably in this little amount, this half of a, I used half the pumpkin. Um, and then I used probably three tablespoons of olive oil. 
one big tablespoon of salt, and then I'm going to use some pepper. Okay? Good amount of pepper. Now, here's the fun part. You get to play with it, right? You want to just kind of mash these around like this. You know, squeeze with your fingers to break up the onions. You don't want any chunks of onion like that because you want all this olive oil getting all over them. And then what I like to do is put the onion on the bottom and put the pumpkin on top. And the reason I do that is because the onion on the bottom will get a little bit more char on it um, and it acts like as a bed for the pumpkin because the pumpkin is drier than the onions. So um, they'll, they'll get, well, they won't get a char anyway. They're just going to roast in here nicely. So you can see I've kind of spread them out nicely so they cook evenly, right? Um, and I've got all my onions on the bottom and my squash on top like this. See that? Look at that. Beautiful, right? I taste it. What am I tasting for? Good amount of olive oil and salt. That's what I want. And from there, we're going to throw this in the oven at 350 and I will show you that what that looks like. It's probably going to take about 20 to 30 minutes. So we'll see you back in 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, guys, we're back here. You can see, look at this beautiful pumpkin and you see the onions, the crispy onions in that. It looks fantastic. So let me put it over here. You guys can see it a little bit better, right? Um, how perfect is that? So the pumpkin, if we cut a piece of the pumpkin and you taste it, it's soft, it's cooked through. It's beautiful, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, I'm going to take my pumpkin here and go ahead and put it on my plate. We'll get it ready. How about that? And that way we can get it out of the way here. So I'm going to put my pumpkin down, and then I want to probably put three pieces like this. I think that's fun. And then I'm going to take some of my um, some of my onions and put those around here as well. Okay, because I love, I love these kind of cooked onions. Mmm, salty, extra virgin olive oil. I can't keep it out of my mouth. <laughs> but, uh, all right, let me put this to the side. And then what I want to do is I want to start cooking, put this up here. We're going to build our salad. So while we're waiting to build our salad, I got to show you something with pomegranate. So the pomegranate here, um, I'm going to take, and I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to crack it open. So I just, I don't slice all the way through it. I just kind of crack, crack into it like this because it's going to be, these things can be messy. And I twist it like that. See, when I twist it, it pops open. You see those beautiful pomegranate seeds coming out? Now, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to top, top them like this. And this is the easiest way. Like you, a lot of times you guys try to go in there and do that, but all you have to do is really hit back on the back of this hard and all of these kind of come out on their own. See that? How cool is that, right? You just tap it with the back of a heavy spoon and bam, look at that. You're like, all of the seeds came out. I get a couple more in there trying to hide, right? And they come out. And then I'm going to pull these, any kind of white pith uh, from the inside of the fruit that comes out like this. You can just pull this out like this. Okay. I'm going to take some pomegranate like this without the juice. You see the juice that's running on the bottom of that? I'm going to put two spoons of pomegranate in here. That's going to be for the end product of the salad. Now this, I'm going to puree this up really quick and I'm going to show you how we reduce it down. So give me one second. Okay, I'm back and I just took the seeds and I put them in my Nutribullet and mm, I blend them up and then I'm going to put them in a saute pan here. So you can see that beautiful sauce, right? Like that. Um, the, the reason what I want to do, because the sauce itself is a little bit, um, it's a little watery, the seeds. I mean, you've drank probably pomegranate juice before. It's very watery or juicy. So what I want to do, we're making a vinaigrette from this. So we don't want to um, it to be watery. We want to concentrate this flavor. So I put some honey in there. I use a little bit of, um, I use a little spicy honey. It's probably a tablespoon of like uh, of a, um, a hot honey. 
But if you want to just use regular plain honey, that's fine as well. And I'm going to stick this on here. Um, and I want to just turn that on and cook that um, for a bit. And what we're, going to, what we're looking to do with that is we're looking to uh, reduce that down um, to, to make a nice flavor. Okay. And then I'm going to take my, well, let me do this really quick. I'm going to grab this bowl. I have a little cucumber here. I'm going to make a small salad. Okay. So I want to peel this cucumber. This is one of those waxy cucumbers, you know, they tend to be cheap in the summer or in the winter. I mean, in Florida because they grow them in Florida. Um, but they're really cheap, but you can't really eat the outside because the outside's waxed. Um, so, I mean, you could eat it, it's edible wax, but it just doesn't taste good. So I want to peel that. I'm going to cut the end of it. Okay. And then, um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it in half. And I'm going to take these halves and cut these up. So they're nice and pretty. Okay. And I'm going to take, well, you know what I'm going to do actually is take this bowl that I had and I'm going to put my cucumbers in that. So here we go with my cucumbers like this. And then I've got radishes, right? Um, these radishes are uh, beautiful red radishes. I just cut them in half. See how that? And then I just lay them down flat. Um, I don't want these big chunks of radish in one bite. So that's why I'm doing that. If you got a little tail or a little root on there, you can just clip that off like that. Um, and then lay these down and cut these in like little strips. Um, when I cut them in strips, I don't cut them that small at this point because um, it's already cut in half. I don't want to make them so tiny where it's hard to pick them up on a fork, but you just want them to be not um, too big, right? You don't want like halves of radish. You just want nice chunks. Okay, and then um, what we're gonna do is you're gonna pick your favorite lettuce. Now this time of year, bib's really great. Um, if you love iceberg, use iceberg. If you like romaine, use romaine. Um, I've got some nice um, lettuces here that I have. Um, this is like a green oak, right? And I probably don't even need all that. So I wanna cut it, I'm gonna cut it in half. And I'll look at it in the center because I'm going to just make salad for one. So you see how beautiful that is? This is a great uh, lettuce to uh, grill. You put olive oil on this, salt and pepper, and grill it right on the grill. It's fantastic. So I'm basically cutting the root end of that off. And I'm going to cut it in half like this. So we have a nice salad here. Okay. And then the same thing, I've got red oak here. And I'm going to cut that in half too. And you can see it's, I was just always looking in here to make sure there's no dirt in there. I washed it really good, but you never know sometimes. So with that, the same thing, I'm just going to toss uh, that in there as well. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little bit of salt on there. Okay. And then I'm going to put ground pepper. Okay. Beautiful. Now, with this, I want to toss that up now because it's got the cucumber in there, the salt and the radish. Um, this way, the salt's going to kind of bring out the water and the cucumber and the radish for a second while we wait. Okay. And there we go. Look how pretty that is. Really nice looking greens. And the greens just kind of wilting a little. I love lettuce when you just taste it with salt like that. It's such a good flavor. Um, so what we're going to do is at this point, I'm going to let my pomegranate cook for about, I don't know, maybe like a minute or two. So it reduces from kind of that juice down to more of a reduced, not a paste, but um, probably reduce that juice by about half. Okay. And I'll show you what it looks like in a second. Okay, you guys, I have my uh, sauce. Let's take a, take a look how nice this is. It's just beautiful, like color, right? I'm going to strain this because if you remember, I had um, the seeds, you know, the center of seeds inside of those pomegranates, even though they're not super tough, they're still in there and they'll make this, uh, they'll make this sauce gritty and we don't want it to be gritty. We want it to be beautiful and luxurious. So what I want to do is just get a really nice handheld strainer here and press this through. See that? 
all this is that seed, which you know would have gotten your teeth and not, not been nice. You know, you've eaten you've eaten the seeds from uh, pomegranates before. You know, and it's they're they're tasty. They're not they're edible. They're not obnoxious. But we're gonna make a really nice salad out of this. We don't want to make just something basic. We want to make something really fantastic. So. Um, Mm. I love the flavor of that. So next, into this, we're going to put some vinegar. You can use white wine vinegar, um, champagne vinegar. Um, I'm using one, two tablespoons of a German or herb vinegar I get from my German store. But if you don't have that, you can just, like I said, use champagne vinegar. Um, apple cider vinegar, that's fine as well. Okay, now I have a really nice spicy mustard too. Why do I want spicy? Because everything is so sweet. I've got the pomegranate sweet, right? The honey is sweet, right? So I wanted to add something that is going to give me a little bit of uh, spiciness. I did have a little bit of spicy honey, so that's fine. You know, that's going to help, right? And then you're just going to whisk this like this. You see that? So I'm whisking in that. doesn't need to be heavily emulsified. Um, I'm going to put a little tiny pinch of salt. It's a small amount, so you don't want to go too, too crazy. Okay. And then olive oil. And I'm going to put probably a good two tablespoons of olive oil in there. Right. Now you have this wonderful vinaigrette. Let me taste it. Look at the color. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to put it on my plate so you guys can see. Look at that, right? This is, it's incredible, right? So, now, I can't help myself, you guys, it's so good, I can't keep it out of my mouth. I'm gonna put two nice tablespoons on my salad, yeah, maybe three, I wanna go. I really like this dressing. And I'm gonna put a nice tablespoon of cashews in there. Use walnuts if you want, pecans, whatever your favorite nut is. And then, I'm gonna put these wonderful pomegranate seeds. Mm, okay. And then I'm going to toss it all in there gently. Okay. And let that just sit in this for a second. Okay. Now I'm going to bring some yogurt over here. I gotta rinse this. Sorry, I couldn't put red inside of my yogurt thing, right? That wouldn't be good. I'm gonna put a little bit of yogurt in here. And then, um, just a regular Greek yogurt is fine. Okay, and then I'm gonna get my juicer here, and I'm gonna juice. What's nice about this is this, it's gonna give you creamy. And not only creamy is it gonna give you uh, it's going to give you this acidic of the lemon. So I've got a lot of lemon in there. It's like a one lemon. Um, so it's going to be very lemony, which is great. It's just how I want it. Okay. And I'm going to put a little salt in that too. Because this has to be just where we want it. Right. And what this is going to do is going to give you this acidic, creamy, uh, bright, lemony, flavor in your um, in your dish. I'm going to go a little bit of pepper too because that flavor of the pepper in there with the yogurt and the lemon is just really nice. Now you want to just mix it up really good till it turns smooth. It's a little easier sometimes with a fork it'll go quicker. Obviously a whisk would go even quicker than that but it's going to come together no worries. See it's already getting beautiful. So with this I'm going to pop this around my pumpkin dish here like this going to go really nice with my beautiful pumpkin. Okay. I love that. That is the pumpkin flavor. And then in the center of this, we can just go ahead and start building our beautiful salad. Cucumber, radish, nuts, pomegranate. All right. Look how gorgeous that looks. Okay. And then I'm going to take some feta cheese here, and I have my feta. I'm just gonna dice it like this, just a couple slices. You see this? 
Look at that one. That one rolled right on the plate by itself. It's like, I want to go there. And you're going to go there, Feta. Enjoy. Look at that. Beautiful salad. Just clean it up a little right here. And you've got yourself this wonderful pumpkin salad with pomegranates. You have lemon. You've got cucumber radish, uh, crispy onion, um, feta, cashews. <laughs> you know, what a great salad. Your, your guests are going to love this. So you could do this for Thanksgiving holiday. Save it for Christmas, wherever you want to go, because those ingredients are going to be around for a while. And pomegranates, not only tasty, mm, mm, super healthy. Um, so try this at home. Comment. Let me know what you need to know. I mean, the dressing's super simple. You can use that for a million things even different than this. So put that in your fridge for a week. In a mason jar, it's going to last. I'll see you back in the kitchen soon. I'm Chef Dean Max.